Hello everyone, now let's continue to complete modeling uh, raster in the model. Now I want to delete this frame by press delete. Again, you can uh, copy the column, right click, click on the copy, press the right mouse, yes. Press the right mouse to rotate view. Click on the first and second. Okay. Again, click on the first raster, second raster. Press Control key and right click, copy. Click one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, this is the way you can uh, copy raster from one frame to other friends press S uh, control S to seal the, the file now after you complete modeling frame we have to continue to modeling purling to modeling the purling and gut yeah gut or side rail gut we can use uh, two different options two different options by plus, plus the Pull in one by one, and other way you can do in edit and create field. This is a very powerful uh, option because uh, this way we will automatically detect the angle of the rows and place the pull in perpendicular to the raster. This is very powerful. Before you can use the option, you must to model in close, yeah, in close. Now let me try to model it by using uh, model and beam don't worry about this beam size which I uh, enclose this space 1 2 and 3 we will delete it later we do not use the, uh, this beam because we want to uh, use the option in the edit and Feel, yeah, create feel. You see here, there are four enclosed beam. One, two, three, four. Yeah, the, this beam you can uh, model inside beam. Yeah, by using the option. So we must to do one, two, three, four. Yeah, to enclose this uh, parameter, and you can mod model uh, inside beam by using the option. Okay. This, this one also the same one two three four yes this one also the same one two three four so if you want to uh, place the column in this <coughs> in the location you have also to model the other one beam like this one yeah okay but uh, we just focus about the perlin and the gut now click on the slope slope and click 1 2 3 and click 1 2 3 yes you see in the slope we have two different slope IP1 and IP2 just click on IP1 yeah IP1 and Click on edit and create infill. Now select on the grade, change to A eh, 275 and the uh, design order. You can change it for optimization. yes this one click on select intersection change it new use uh, C angle yeah okay. UAP 125 click OK and tick it and input the number 
Oh, the Perlin. Now let me come back and check. The number of Perlin we want to left one, two, three, four, five. After that, we 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 will copy to the to uh. <coughs> after that, we will copy uh, the the Perlin to the distance 1.6 and copy from the pulling to the distance 1.8 along the distance 1.8 of the raster ok now let's just uh, play 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ok for the maximum spacing of the pulling the maximum spacing is 2 meter but I do not recommend play the maximum spacing you can do around 1 Point two to one point eight meter for the spacing of the purlin is a very practical uh, approach in the design of the purlin to restrain the raster and the section of purlin also uh, optimized and smaller than uh, when you use the larger span or larger spacing. Okay, come back. One, two, three, four, five. Why? Okay. And the direction perpendicular. When you play the the purlin, the purlin, the purlin will be perpendicular with the plan, or perpendicular with the raster. Okay. And you can change the the measure alignment to bottom. Okay. Let place the purlin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and come back and click on the IP2 again click on the field in field press 5 and change to 225 and change design section yes correct and anti top plane continue a restraint and the uh, measure alignment you the bottom and direction we use perpendicular okay click one two three four five six escape and now let you on the 3d you can drag and drop Okay, you see here, escape and click on the back view to see here. Yes, the Perlin is play perpendicular to the raster perfectly. Okay, this is how you can do uh, the option create in field to help you model the Perlin correctly and easy to infill perpendicular with the correct angle of the rows. <coughs> now let me continue to infill the gut. Yes, the gut again. Check on the frame. Click on home, model, and frame. We have only two frames. Yeah. Cut on the frame one and frame seven. Now let add the there are two frame frame A and frame E okay add new two frame okay correct double click on the frame A okay edit create in field and change the grade to A 75 275 yes change the design section yeah keep it and antique top plane continue a restraint okay now let uh, input the number we input it 3 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Click correct and choose the frame E. Double click, create in field, input the number three. Non composite, it correct and change the steel grade, change the design section. Yeah, correct, keep the section and antique top plane continue restraint. Okay, everything is correct. Click one, two, three, four, five, six. Escape, click on Visual 3D. Okay, now let me uh, correct this uh, gut. Click on it and rotate the angle of 90 degree. Escape. Click one, escape. Again, rotate the angle to 90 degree. Again. And uh, click on all good. Yes, the right side. And the measure of set 250. Now let me check it. No, it's not correct. So let me change to the bottom. Yes, yeah, sorry. Top. Minor. Yes, that's correct. And on the left side, 250. And change it to the bottom. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Click it all. Two hundred fifty again. Let me click click and check this one. Why is it different? You have to show the direction by clicking on the member. Yeah, direction. So if you see here, the direction is top outside, top outside. This one is top inside. So you have to correct the issue by click all of the gut. Again, all of the gut. Now let me turn off the grid line. Control key and press the right key to rotate the view. Again, now rotate this section to 180 degree or minus, yeah, minus 90 degree, correct? Okay, now we fit it all, yes, now we fit it all for the purlin and gut. Okay, it's correct. Everything is correct right now. Now 
Now continue to copy. Okay, copy the plugin to the right side. Press uh, uh, use the window select and right click copy. Click the best point. Drag it. Yeah, drag. Just drag. Press the S2 in the keyboard. S2 and type. 0.4 enter yes you correct again right click copy click the best point drag along the raster press s2 again and type 0.4 and enter okay again now let's copy the plugin to the right side use the window select and right click copy click the base point drag over the raster press s2 again press tab click and uh, input 0.2 enter again copy the plugin to the left side press uh, right click select on the copy click the best point drag over the raster and press S2 and press tab no it's not working press S2 no it's not working Delete it again. Seal the project. Use the window select. Right click copy. Use the rotate view by press by hold the, the right click and click on the best point. Drag to the second direction, a uh, second point. And press S2 again. Press tab again. Yes, now it's working. It puts 0.2 and enter. Yes, this is how you can copy the plugin, the plugin along the raster. Seal. Click on seal to seal the model. To it now uh, let's continue to the gut we use the same method apply for the gut you can just select and control press the control on the keyboard and use windows like again and press the right right mouse right click to rotate view right click again copy and click on the best point and drag it to the upward direction press s2 again use tab key and input 0.2 okay now complete for the modeling or the column raster and Pearlin and Gert in this matter. Let's delete the reference beam. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Thank you for your watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any question or conflict, you can ask me direct in group. Thank you for your watching. Thank you.